Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the CNote Files. I am your host CM Palmer and today I'm going to be going over a tutorial on how to use the PlayStation 4 camera uh, and how it works with uh, face recognition to sign in uh, or log in to the PlayStation 4. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm at the uh, the startup screen for the PlayStation 4, and I've already set up the camera uh, so you can see how it's going to act, uh, and then I'll go into the menus uh, and go through some of the, uh, the settings that I had to configure in order to get this to work. Um, so the first thing I actually have to do here uh, is on my DualShock 4, I actually have to uh, press the PlayStation button. Uh, it will register. Uh, so this is the sign-in screen for the PlayStation 4, and it, I don't know if you can see it or not, but down in the lower camera, uh, lower window of the TV uh, is the small camera window uh, and it actually says it's searching for regis registered faces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over to the camera and get my face into view. And it will pick up my face and it will recognize me, and now what I have to do is bring the controller into the screen, and I'm signed in. Okay, so how did I get that to work? The uh, first thing I had to do was go into the settings menu, and I believe it was under login settings. And right here I had to turn on enable face recognition. Um, once I did that, I'm then presented with uh, this face recognition management item uh, and I can add face data or I can delete face data. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete the data that's there now so you can see how I recreate it. So now that that's deleted I'm going to go to face recognition management and I'm going to click the start button. Um, so the, what this is going to do is it's going to start over the process for registering my identity or my facial features with the PlayStation 4 so I can perform that face recognition login. I'm going to go ahead and click start, and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to walk into the screen, and click OK. It's going to detect my face. I'm going to go ahead and click the button. Now this is the part that gets a little weird. Uh, it actually asks you to start tilting your head in different directions so it can recognize you from different angles depending on if you're right in front of the camera or just off to the side when you log in. Now this is where it twists. That's it, my face data has been added. So as you can see, if I back out of the settings and I log out again, I go ahead and press the PlayStation button. And I can log right back in again. It's pretty much that simple. Um, there are options again to add uh, additional face recognition management options. So if I wanted to add more data, um, I can go ahead and do that. Uh, it will consistently and constantly adjust um, if I grow older, if I grow facial hair, things of that nature, so that I can continue to add different photos of me in different lighting uh, and different scenarios so that way I can always sign in with my face. Um, the weird thing is though is that you always do have to have that PlayStation 4 controller with you. Uh, you have to bring that into the picture um, and you do have to press the PlayStation 4 button in order to get that to turn on. Um, but that's it. That's how uh, face recognition works for logins. Um, let me know what you think of the video. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, I'll try to be as active as I can. Follow me on Twitter. Um, let me know what you think, and I will get back to you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Take care. 
Hey everybody, so today's shout out is going to go out to Hack Informer. Um, he is a pretty active um, guy on Twitter. Um, he's always posting news stories about various things in the hacking scene. Um, pretty cool guy to talk to. Uh, he's even cooler because he actually does follow me as well. Um, but the guy is always active. He's uh, posting various kinds of news stories. Um, uh, pretty cool guy to chat with. We've exchanged messages back and forth on a bunch of different subjects. Um, but other than his Twitter account, you can also check him out on the hackinformer.com website. Um, he has got a bunch of ways to get in touch with him, Google+, Twitter, Facebook. Um, he's into all kinds of things, Android, PlayStation, Nintendo. Uh, he's also very popular um, and well-known for working with Total Noob on the TNV4 release. Um, he's been beta testing that, uh, searching for bugs and everything for a long time. Um, and so, the, you know, the guy is well-known, well-respected throughout the scene. Uh, so today's shout-out goes out to him. Check out his Twitter, follow him, um, and check out his website. Hope you enjoy.